this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we're going to poke around into the Naval Academy again. And I think we'll do France versus Germany, these being the other ones that we haven't done yet. Defeat a German fleet with your French ships. Create a successful striking force made of French modern ships of the 1940s and defeat a strong German fleet which has as a flagship a humongous super battleship of the H class. The super battleship is the main objective. Your funds should be enough to build at least one super battleship, but you can alternatively design and build more smaller ships. I could come closer to the German battleship and launch a torpedo attack. The fleet will be escorted by six modern destroyers. So three battle cruisers, three heavy cruisers. Hmm. Wow, we can build light cruisers. That would be nuts. Great hull form on the Super 2. Much better floatability, a little bit better resistance. Turning slow down is much better. Modern Battleship 2 isn't too bad. Modern Battleship 1 has much less resistance and a better turning and better hull form. Then the battle cruiser is super tough. I am so confused. Also super small. So I'm thinking Super 2, Modern Battleship 1. Uh, I really like the whole form. But the resistance on that battle cruiser is pretty impressive. Small, compact battle cruisers. Something like the, uh, oh geez, what was it? The Dunkirk? But bigger. We'll see what we can do. Ooh, that is a much bigger jump. Go for the geared turbines. Oil. Balance. We'll just give it a little bit of everything. All the goodies. Except, do I want to turtle back, or do I want all or nothing? Basically 6% gun damage, but the armor will be weaker. Probably super heavy, probably increased. I don't think we'll need too many. Ah, that big choice. Oh, big hit and shell penetration. We are going to be fighting a super battleship. White powders, nice, all across the board. Could go to Cordite, but I lose a little bit of range. 
could go for the tube powder and have the extra penetration and reload. The HE shells will be garbage though. Or we could go TNT and reduce the hull weight. I know hull weight's going to be important too. Love the damage and the penetration though. 10% is a lot. But that gun range. So at 10 kilometers, we're looking at 45 inches of penetration with 7% hit chance. Vice. Forty, almost 44 inches and 8%. Vice. 43 inches and 8.3%. That is such a rough decision. A little bit of range, a little bit of penetration, a little bit of damage. Flatter trajectory. Well, 43 inches is a lot. I'm tempted to go to the TNT for the hull weight reduction. I'm going to have more of other things. And we'll just close in because we're going to have plenty of penetration. Which also means we could do the Lidite, for example. Drops us down to below 37 inches. 8% accuracy at 10 kilometers in. No, I think that dips us into territory. where we are likely to bounce. And I'm really struggling with this one this time. I think I'll go with high TNT, even more expensive ammunition. But I still get the hull weight reduction. Uh, the shell penetration we just discussed, not necessarily that important. But the extra damage will be nice. Uh, aiming speed. It's fine. Bad we don't have oxygen torpedoes. Electric 24 inch. Then a lot of weight, but we'll use the stereoscopic. Best hydrophones, RDF, Gen 2 radar. Just absolutely nuts. Okay, iterative improvements. Nothing crazy. OK, 
a big improvement there between the compact and the light. A very large jump in signature as well though. That should do. Funnel wise, very little difference. Same with price and weight. I don't think we're going to be able to fit more or less. Looks like we will need two. Our vets, I th think we're good. Mark fives across the board. It's just a question of rate of fire. Damage per shell. I want smaller. Faster firing. What do I think is going to be able to get through their armor? Will four additional inches of vertical, or sorry, horizontal penetration, deck penetration, at 20 kilometers be significant? Interesting. It's a little uneven there, too on accuracy like the 17 inch is just more accurate at every range mm, not quite at every range two and a half kilometers the 16 beats it the 18 has terrible accuracy this is range behavior mm, that made the decision for us Ooh, that's really not that much slower. Oh yeah, we will do the French quads. Can't fit an aft one. Do I want an aft one? I could go, go with something like a cruiser killer round. Stick those on the fantail. And I'm way overweight now. <laughs> Not surprising. I would like some hydrophones. Don't need the RDF. I'll need some destroyer killers as well. fives are not going to fit that. I mean, I can put them back there. I can't do sixes. Put it there, but you can't order. Okay. That 
That will definitely block. Yep. Let's do there. There. And yes, I don't need to put them exactly there. Oh, what was the key again? Rotate. No, not the view. RT, that's right. No, they still don't rotate the opposite one. That's fine, it doesn't need to be rotated. Fours, fours, fours. I think that's fine like that. Rewise. We have eye mounts. Yeah, we do. Yeah, you'll fit squads there. Such silly designs. I don't see anywhere else to sneak any in. Oh, if we can put quad two. <laughs> Isn't that a little wide there? Yep. I don't think these are even useful. Little two inch peewees. They amuse me though. And torpedo launchers. Do we want any? I think the answer is no. We're way overweight, but we have plenty of money to work with. So, let's start trimming down what we can. Yeah, the parpets are not a significant chunk of the weight. I haven't even adjusted the speed. Could tone it down a little bit. What are we at? 82. Actually not that bad. Oh, and that means I'll get two of these. We got money. Reduce the engine weight. The diesel look, oh yeah, way heavier. That's what I figured. I don't like taking away the auxiliaries. They make our repairs go much faster. This will also make it more nimble, but vulnerable to torpedoes. Oh, and I haven't even done the armor yet. Oh, good grief. Oh, good, good, good grief. This is a battle cruiser. Oh, funny, I should mention that. It is a battle cruiser. Now, 
Choices, choices. We could, for example, delete the 10. And go for eights. fit one down there. We'll have 17s, 8s, 4s, 3s and 2s, not that those matter. Or do I drop down to 7s? Not that this is going to gain us much. I'll be 22-ish inches of belt armor. Tower will be well protected. We do want the turrets well protected. So if we try to get in under 20 kilometers, we'll need 10 inches, deck, yeah, this is never going to happen, 10 inches of deck, just trying to build an immunity zone in here, slim though it may be. At least 12 of belt. Or we can just try to get in closer. Go for 8. Hold on. That's at 116, so we could go for 8. And 17. Yeah, we're not saving anything. Do we stay even further out? Nah, because the deck starts to increase rapidly from there. Save a little bit that way. I'm going to get rid of 14%. Well, but I don't want to do that. Hmm. Take the hit. Not that bad. Uh, where is our weight right now? Hey, hey there. Our way is hull, the tower, engine, turrets. That would actually make a big difference. Don't like doing it. And we're only going to get one now. Single bottom. Oh, good grief. I'm taking lots of time with this now, too. Just checking to see if we can get to fire reduced. One of our alternate choices. Oh, we probably don't need the turrets like that. Just Hydrox will keep the auto lower. I go down to Lidite, I get two. 
They're just underweight. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Let's see what happens. I know I'm excited now. Frederick Carl class pedal cruiser. And then we'll have a second. Yep. And we get Orion class heavy cruisers. V3 of those. V1s, V3s. Now our own Shepard class destroyers. And now getting them all set up. Oh dear. Spotted southeast. Ooh, our rentals are off. is a ship, probably the super. That's our scout, and that's our followers. Okay. Crazy looking. But we have equal guns. I just have two ships, they have one. Ooh, penetration. Doing a whole 39 damage, that's atrocious. Bring it down slightly. Speed of twenty seven and a half. What's our range? 22 kilometers. Let's start angling out then. Hey, we caused some flooding. Another penetration. And another one. Not doing a whole lot of damage, but we are hurting them. Hmm, they did change how the damage decals look. I like that. That is improvement. deck ones look kind of hard to see it 
Those ones might not have changed. It's fairly central too, so that's a good one. are on the correct target. Oh, there's our hit, 18 inch. Belt extended, up forward. Wow, that's really low freeboard up forward. damage to them. Then right at 20 kilometers. Let's orient out. Give our armor a little bit better chance to block. And we can afford to. And if we end up extending the range, which we are, are they running? Not yet, but they are hurting. We do have their escorts to worry about. No guts, no glory. We will engage more closely. Mm, they shifted targets. Going after the Alma instead of the Armide. And it is raining over there. And one of my destroyers has been hit. Oh yeah, for sure. Pummeling the Braunschweig, though. Take a look at the damage that's been caused. And another penetration. Mid deck. Not doing much damage each individual shot. Rudder hit. further out. What does that heavy cruiser have? It has torpedoes. 10 kilometers. We're at 18, so we're good for now. side shots for 14 inch guns. What's their range? 12. That is about enough, unless I turn further out. And 
there's the last battle cruiser as well. Got their steering. Twigs hit for the bow belt extended. That hurt. They're big guns though. Another hit for us with some fire. Up to 31% accuracy. properly pummeled now though. Damage ticking up slowly. We're being single-minded about this. Our objective is the Braunschweig. We will take out the Braunschweig. Oh, they're getting closer. How closer are we to the Braunschweig? Check here. Eighteen and a half. The Alma is doing fine. Even the Gepard has three hits all at the same time. Stern belt and mid belt. Mid belt penetration. Right into the citadel. Another one mid deck. Is that one I think? Might have been that one. Two more. Turn belt extended. We're properly pummeling them now. We got them locked in. Whereas their accuracy is atrocious. Actually, their armor is not that thick. That's why. I way overdid it. And again, I'm usually trying to get a, an immunity zone. 14 inch mid belt penetration. We got another one to the stern deck. Who are you attacking? We're all attacking the same one. That's good. Ooh, a lot of flooding on the Braunschweig. A lot of flooding hits. Starboard list. No, oh, managing to tag some of the destroyer, a cruiser, whatever that was over there. Another penetration, eight inch this time. Oh no, that was on the destroyer. Retro Carl has thirteens. Nine inch did a bell belt extended hit on us. Only two inches, so yeah, plenty. Our Mide is on fire. Ooh. Bow belt, bow deck. That was actually a significant hit. Didn't 
knock out the turrets, then explode our ship. Oh. Two more hits. Bow deck, bow belt. Bow has been gutted now. It's heavily on fire. Oh, oh. They managed to get it down. We did get two more hits. Bow belt, or bow deck extended. And stern deck extended. Taking on more water. Damage to her main gun. Let's see, stern deck, stern deck. One of the bow cruisers hitting our stern belt. Mid belt. Almost there. How close are they? Actually getting pretty close to torpedo range. More 17 inch hits. Like we're... This is bloody range for... World War II tech. Late World War II tech. Well, not that surprising. Three more hits. Her accuracy is supposedly so poor, but those hits. These heavy cruisers. The secondaries on those. Tempted to shift the primaries. But I know the bleed over compartment mechanics will take out that last 6%. Not gonna do that. happening here? How'd they all... I must have done something with the uh, divisions. Oops. It's okay. Oh, good. you good hits there. Down to our last... moments. And there we go, brown twig down. Well, that wasn't bad at all. Craziness works sometimes. So, that takes us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you staying till then. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.